you've got all these different facets to who you are as yeah. Brian Lampton. It's just amazing. Hmm. What's your favorite part? What's who's drums playing drums. playing music live? Uh, you got super excited blast. about the PA stuff, but I I figured that yeah. the I, I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, playing music live is is. And then there's just nothing like it. Yeah. yeah. And even when I practice, when I'm rehearsing, all everything's gone. No troubles, no the stresses. Is out of that. Yeah. Pass the fire, pass the sounds. Moonshine through the clouds, saddle up, because there's no stopping me now. Welcome to another episode of Living Well Together. Big life in a small town. Woo! (laughs) I think we need to record that and post that on every episode. That was really good. I'm done here. (laughs) I'm done here. (laughs) I'm going to go get a beer. (laughs) (laughs) That is amazing. Welcome, Brian. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Here. This is fantastic. So, babe, what's the connection with you and... How do we first meet? How do we know each other? I believe it was either Fairborn Chamber or Fairborn Rotary. Yeah, I think okay. that's I true. Don't know which came first. Well, yeah. there was a time where you were at my Rotary Club meeting as much or more than you were at your own yes. Rotary Club meeting for, I'm assuming, work reasons or convenience Be- or convenience too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So yes, we got familiar with each other years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, the thing I like about Brian is is he covers a lot of bases for the people that we want to interview on our shop mm-hmm. or on our show. Yeah. Um, He's a local business owner. Uh-huh. Uh, he is a local resident. Uh-huh. He is also now a local governmental representative. Uh-huh. Uh, and he's a rock and roll musician. So he covers every base Whoa. that we are looking to cover. Yeah. Wow. And I'm sure there are many more layers to the man named Ooh, Brian are we Lampton. going to peel it yeah, But if we just cover some of those, I think I it's going to be We're a fun be episode. Good. Yes, for sure. But that's the goal is to just mm-hmm. bring local people to our local people and mm-hmm. get everybody to know mm-hmm. everybody else. Because I'm not going to run for office. Yeah. But the people who voted for you are going to get to hear your voice. The people who are your customers, clients, and potential mm-hmm. customers and mm-hmm. clients get to hear your story. Um, and there's never anything wrong with promoting your band. So yeah, I that's right. We should be able to so cover. Should we a lot start with the band, or sh- I mean, that would be pretty exciting to start with. The thing I like about you and the band is that you're a percussionist. Thank you. Yeah, and because if I were in a band, that's what I would be. <laughs> Anytime I hear music, it is the percussion that I mm-hmm. hear. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I, I have a soft spot for that in my own brain. Does Brian know that you owned a drum kit? No, this is not about me. We're talking oh, about him. Oh, I didn't know that. He likes All it that right. much. Well, she left, drums. Yeah, nice. she, <laughs> left, nice. she left town one weekend and came home and I bought a set of drums. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excellent. We'll talk about it another time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have them anymore. The boys have them now. The yeah. Band. So how many pieces are there in a drum kit? It depends. You can have as little as four. Mm-hmm. Have you seen I, Neil? I have Pert? A, right. <laughs> he has a million or two. Yeah. Yeah. I my I have two kits. Well, three. Two kits. Uh, one's four piece, and the other is seven. Uh huh. Where do so, you guys play? Different places. Um, we're <laughs> we're the house band for the Fairborn Senior Center. As that's Ellen, awesome. As Ellen that's tells me, amazing. <laughs> um, we mostly do festivals and things, so you know we we play the uh, um, Halloween festival mm-hmm. every year here, um, and and whatever other festival we can downtown you know, we can stuff. get into. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's the name of the band? Uh, Rock it. 88. Rock it. 88. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Do you we have can like find a Facebook, you on Facebook page. Facebook and- yeah, it's it's a bit outdated, but there is a there is a page. It does exist. You yes, it does exist. Social media marketing manager. I really you? need to get somebody <laughs> myself to update that. Yes, that's super fun though. And it is. So it's you're a playing blast. mostly local. Yes. Now uh, we've just recently ventured out. Uh, a, a colleague of mine from the house has a, a restaurant bar on Grand Lake St. Mary's. And he's invited us back. We played one last year. We're going to do another one this year. In fact, July 6th. Okay. So we'll be up for the July 4th weekend. Got it. And then um, the big one is we rec- uh, also recently got invited to play in the State House. What? Yeah, I know. I couldn't believe it. That is awesome. Yeah. Is it That's going to be an event cool. that they're having? Yes. Or- there, okay. there's a, it's called a, um, a Central State Government um, Leadership Conference. It's the Midwestern Conference. Uh There will be several hundred legislators from across the Midwest 
I was told in Canada. Oh my! Yeah, it's an international concert. That well, it it, it actually is technically. Yeah. So will uh, you okay. be legislating and playing in the band? Well, will you be at both y- roles. Yes, I, okay. I'm, they. I'm told I have a seat at the dinner table, and okay. then. When dinner's over, we're going to get up on stage and rock and roll. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be amazing. Yeah, so be will you change clothes? You know, I've been thinking about that. Uh, I usually wear Hawaiian shirts. Okay. And they tell everybody. But when I think. When you play. Yes. Okay. I don't, I don't think that's very appropriate for the state house. So I'm gonna, we're going to do a nice button-up nice. shirt, I think it'd be. Yeah. If we all wear the same color, it'll look cool. What about the wig, cool the anyway. mohawk, or the big hair, the Asian yeah. hair? Yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's back up because I do want to get to the legislative thing, but yeah, that's kind of like sure, your most recent yes. of yeah. the things we've discussed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how, when did you start playing music? At what age? Wow. Um, I had piano lessons when I was a kid. I don't know, you know, elementary school. Okay. And then played in the elementary school band. Actually, I played clarinet. Okay. Oh, wow. um, music's been in your blood. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I played all the way through elementary school, junior high, high school. And in high school... We had the unique opportunity to, well, let's just say fool with a substitute teacher. Oh, and um, usually at study hall, if a substitute teacher yeah. comes in the band yeah. study hall, yeah. Well, she wanted to play band director, so nice. well, what we do is we all got up and switched, played different instruments. <laughs> Wow, was that a train wreck? It sounded really bad, but I got up and and ran him back and started playing the timpani, and I had a blast. <laughs> nice. I'm like, yeah. I went to the band director the next day, and I said, "Well, I'm switching instruments." Yeah. So he, it was because of that prank. Yes. He <gasps> said, "No, you're not." I said, "Yes." <laughs> oh. And I did. I was yeah. I was a drummer from there on out. Okay. Yeah. That yep. is wild. So graduated in Kettering. Correct. Very Always Miami way. Valley, right? Born and raised Miami yes. Valley. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I did spend one year in Philadelphia. I lived in Allentown, worked in Philadelphia. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, I've been here my whole life. Nice. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Then I went to UD, University okay. of Dayton, mm-hmm. played in the band there. Pet did you band, ever play band, in the life. alumni band? I did like, for quite a while. I did. They we, are rock and roll oh, in so the fun. alumni band. Yeah. Super so much fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah, there's That's always highlights in the parades, and it, yeah. that one is it. I, I think the way when they were they're marching along, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden they scatter, yep. mm. and they go into the audience. I it's just a blast. That's yes. just so much fun. They're always in our Fourth of July parade. Yes, and Degenhart and I announced the parade, yep. so uh-huh. we just have a big fun time. But they're always in it, and it's the, always yep. great. You're probably in yep. a car though in the parades now. Well, I walk beside the car. Wow. Yeah. I, th- I admire in. that. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yep. I'll come up and give you a high five yeah. again. We'll he does every it. time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> gum or mm-hmm. stickers, whatever. Yeah. Um, but we're uh, not the legislative stuff yet. Yeah. That's at the end. We're not Why? going to the legislative. No, stuff. no. We're starting no. with grade school. We worked our way through middle school. He's UD. a drummer now. Yes, he's a drummer now. And then he went to UD. And then he went to UD. All right. And then what did you major in at, at UD? Communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. I actually wanted to be in radio. You got the voice. Understandable. I, I did. I wanted to be a DJ. Um, I thought, man, I, and then maybe work my way up to production, mm-hmm. uh, production director or something like that. And, uh, when I, after I graduated with this fabulous degree, <laughs> I, um, I, I, I remember calling a few places and they start asking you, what experience do you have? Uh, none. You say, yeah, <laughs> not, not zip, zilch, nada. Back in those days, yeah. if you wanted that experience, you had to get an internship. Yep. Mm-hmm an unpaid right. internship and I couldn't do it. I had, mm-hmm. I had to work. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. So I yeah. never had any experience. And, and so the How door many was shut. Do you figure graduated from college back in that day? Pro- uh, probably not many. I, I would mean, agree. Right. I would probably agree. not many. And look at how much, how different that industry is now. Right. right. Cause you could kind of create your own internship by having a podcast or announcing for actually you know, you're interning with us right now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think I'm too old to switch careers, but <laughs> you never know. Make a side gig out of it. Graham is hundred percent right. sure we're going to be monetized in this in the not too distant future. Awesome! This right. will be our career. There yeah, you go. yeah. Chappelle doesn't know it, but he's in our sights. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Wow. Okay, so you're not communications. Be a DJ. UD. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, got a job at uh, in a finance company. Um, Collecting delinquent car loans. That was fun. Oh, boy. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, boy. I, I have it one is. good repo story, just one. Let's hear it. Yeah. All right. Is there a dog involved? No. Okay. 
Well, Dobermans are usually yeah. part oh. of the dog that needs repo. There, there was a there was a car in uh, in Lebanon. The account was way past due, and I was sent go get go get the car or collect the money. Mm. Three or four months past due. So I go to the house, no one's home. I don't see the car. Mm-hmm. I go to the last known place of employment, no one's there. I'm I'm going all different places, nothing, nothing, nothing. I go back to the house and and I called the boss. I said, boss, I I can't. I got nothing. Yeah. Well, don't come back here without that car. And this is pre cell phone, wow. I bet. Like yes. Oh yeah, I had to go find a boss. phone booth. Yes. That's yes. right. And no, yeah, there was you no couldn't portable take a phones. picture no. to show them that there was no car there. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. No, every every no FaceTime, nothing. <laughs> none of that. I mean, you know, I had, when I was trying to find the house, I had to use a map. A paper we had to map, use the, yes. uh, we call them crisscross directories. I had to use a oh, map. Yeah, Remember yeah, those? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I used to be an Avon lady, so we used there crisscross you go. directories. <laughs> so I went back to the boss, said, don't come back without the money or the car. And I was like, dang it. So I went back to the house and I'm, I'm, I'm peeking in the garage door and they had little, little curtains over the windows, mm-hmm. but I saw in there and w- the car was a white mm-hmm. Ford Taurus and I saw it. I was like, oh, she's home. Mm-hmm. Okay. Knock on the door, nothing. Knock on the door, nothing. I must, I sat there for about 10 minutes in the car in the driveway. Uh-huh. I, so she, in case she tried to make a getaway. Can't right. get out. Yeah. Walk Block it. Yep. Um, knocked on the door, nothing. Rang the door and nothing. Um, this went on. It felt like an hour. Probably yeah. wasn't. Um, so I sat, I sat in the car and I just laid on the horn. <laughs> it was so bad. I like, well, call the cops, <laughs> do something. Yeah. Let's get some action. Right. Yeah. Still yeah, whatever nothing. it takes. She didn't I, come out. I, no, to see nothing. What was- I sat there for a little while longer, and I finally went up to the door, knocked on the door. She came to the door. The door oh. opened, cracked it open a little bit. Um, she was in a bathrobe. Said, "I just got out back from the Y. I was in the shower. I didn't hear you." Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. It's legit. Benefit of the doubt. Um, so while I'm I'm here to collect this or that, the car yeah. or the keys or the cash. That mm-hmm. was what I was told to tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's not happening. So I'm going to get dressed. We got in my car and went to her attorney's office, had a long discussion about what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fun stuff. And basically I can, well, I can't authorize me leaving without cars or cash. I can't. So got the boss on the phone, boss, talked to the attorney, talked to her. Okay. They made a deal. Mm -hmm. So I left. Really? I went back to the office about three weeks later. Uh, boss said, did you hear anything? I go, well, I don't know. You're the one that made the deal. Yeah. Nope. No, no contact. No, nothing. Okay. Sent me back out there oh to go get the gosh. car. I was like, oh God. <laughs> so out we go again. Same thing. Out to the house. Nothing. Out to the place of employment. Went to the attorney's office. No, nothing. Oh, no yeah. car. That was a good next move. You're right. Yeah. yeah and I thought, mm-hmm. how, you know, the town's not, it's not that mm-hmm. big of a town. And I, I sat there and thought a little while and I said, wait a minute. When she came to the door. She said, I just got back from the Y. Mm. Hmm, I wonder if there's a YMCA around here. Mm. And there was a very large one. So I'm driving through the parking lot. I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. And there's the car in the oh parking lot. I'm freaking gosh. out. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and in those days, we had we were able to cut keys. Yep. And so I'm, I'm nervous. I parked the car a couple, couple yeah. slots down. And I'm walking up to this car, you know, and... Okay, and I put the key in, yeah. and it wouldn't turn. Oh, like, oh, oh no! Nuts. Well, they're reverse reversible, so I flipped it over, did it, opened it. Oh wow! Jumped in, fired it up, and hauled oh, butt out of there. Yep. Wow. Her, her purse, her oh, everything coat, was in there. everything was in the car. So I, felt, have, I felt bad, but did you have to give everything back? Like yes, how did you, all the personal okay. stuff. They okay. they get they get back oh, immediately. Gosh. Did you talk to her? No, I did not. She got upset, called the boss uh-huh said, well that's too bad so you did your job that's yeah that was all yeah, i had yeah. to do i i drove it to the local dealership and parked it around back and right i, I and i have to make an inventory of all the personal belongings and then yeah. write I mean, a report how old how what age yeah that's you? what i was wondering too well so i'd have been 22 oh my heck i'm just a kid so you're yes, just you a are. kid yeah. you didn't know what you were getting into no grand theft repo <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even out yet either <laughs> Well, and the first thing we do once we we repo one and, and park it somewhere is we have to call the police yeah. because mm-hmm. the owner is going to call the cops sure, and sure. report it yeah. stolen. So we yeah. call them ahead of time and say, hey, I just repossessed this car and yeah. here's the information. Be super yeah. proactive. Her name wasn't Karen, was it? No. 
Okay, good, thanks. <laughs> I don't even know her name. Couldn't tell you. No, but his wife's name's Karen. I didn't yeah. know if that's how you met. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have well, been interesting. I saw interesting. you in the bathroom. Yeah. I thought, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still going to get your car. <laughs> yeah, I repoed your car anyway. Keys, car, cash, or... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> how <are> they? <laughs> oh, that's my. amazing. How long were you at that job? Three years. Oh, really? Yeah. It, so you had lots of those types of scenarios. Not really. Okay. Um, most of everything we did was on the phone. Okay. It stunk. So they would I just give didn't up. didn't like it. Um, once in a while, we'd have to call a tow company. Mm -hmm. uh, rarely did we go out in the field and mm -hmm. yeah. repo one. I, mm -hmm. I mean, you'd think it's That's really nice glamorous. It's, it's quite scary and it's not fun. Oh, yeah. you know? If you were shaking. Oh, I was. Yeah. Now you I can see all nervous. kinds of great YouTube videos with the repo guys. I mean, it, <laughs> sure. they got their own gig going yeah. just on YouTube. Right. Super cool. At what point, let's say you knew that wasn't going to be for your like career. Yeah. At what point did you say, I want to own my own business? Honestly, I'd, I'd always wanted to. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't know what kind of business. Mm -hmm. I just always knew I would. I wanted to wear a suit and be in charge. Mm -hmm. Of course, I hate wearing suits, <laughs> so that changed. But now you know. But I, I wanted to. Own, I wanted to have my own business or, mm -hmm. or be in charge. Mm -hmm. And the options and were. Well, there weren't any. I, I had no idea what yeah. I was going to do. I, I decided. Well, I'm not going to sell cars or something. I'm, I've been interested in cars, but yes. um, the hours are horrible. Yeah. Um, so I thought, well, an office job would be great, nine to five, right? Mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. Um, and at the time, uh, there was an a insurance company looking to hire through the UD placement office. So I interviewed with them, and it was interesting. We, we went to, did a few interviews. How, you know how they interview mm -hmm. the hell out of you. Sure. Um, they said, well, you're not, a, you're not the fit. You're not the person we're looking for. And they hired mm -hmm. me anyway. Oh. Because I had, I had a lot of... You're really not that them. great, but we'll take it. Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to take a chance. Great. Well, they were they were looking for a you know forty five year old oh. high school coach, somebody that had a oh, large gotcha. natural market of people to talk to about selling insurance oh, to. Gotcha. I'm, yeah. I was a twenty five year old kid that yeah. had you know I had five friends. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, um, so I really shouldn't have made it, but I did. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That so you started incredible. as an employee. Act, well, sort of. You start off. Um, they put you through what they call a training program. It's about two and a half year. A training program and, and it kind of stick out on your own, but it's sort of a, oh, what did they call that back in the day where you would, you would make, you would earn commissions, but they would, they would pay you Against a salary draw. draw. That's it. Yeah. yeah. It was a like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like if so, I don't sell enough, I owe the company money. Like they're going right. to give me some money, but I better sell more than they give me. And that was the whole thing. So, right. and, but the cool thing was when we set it up, it was, you know, uh, how much a week do you want? And I said, I selected the lowest amount because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to. Okay. And I ended up doing okay. You know, we got through the program. Mm -hmm. It was tough though. And you know, it's, it's hard. I had to borrow money from everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, older agents kept saying five years, give it five years. Oh, wow. That's what they kept so saying. Just hang in there, give it five years. Coaching. Yes. That's yep. cool. And they were right. It was weird. That fifth year, it's like, oh, oh. I was starting to pay loans back. Oh, I was like, wow. oh okay. This I can see this working out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it needs to just kind year. of grow. Yes. And, yep. Uh huh. Yep. I you know, I learn something every day that. still from the business, but it's not a matter of not learning. Mm -hmm. But it, it really was. It was weird that fifth year is all of a sudden it, the light mm -hmm. bulbs came on and mm -hmm. made sense. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. And what a nice opportunity to have some older seasoned dudes that were like, mm -hmm. let me tell you how this exactly. can go. Exactly. I know. Bring right. in there a little bit. Yeah. Just yep. an encouragement. Yeah. So in 35 yeah. years, what have been some of the significant changes in both home and? Uh, I wouldn't say significant, um, but if you look at your home policy, the deductibles have gone up. Okay. Uh, I, I, I had a, when I first started, some of the home deductibles were $50. Oh, wow. wow. They're a thousand today. Yeah. It's a yeah. thousand. Right. Some, some people are going 2,500. Right. Yeah. To um, keep their payments so in. that's the big change. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the coverages are, Primarily the same. the same. Okay. Yeah. A lot of new cool things that can be added to your homeowner policy that you couldn't get. Ooh, like what? Um, water backup. Mm -hmm. um, there's a new coverage for um, your sewer lines and power mm -hmm. lines coming in and out underground. Mm -hmm. okay. They used to not cover that. Mm -hmm. but they're covering that now. Okay. And it's just a lot of enhancements. So if you have a partial roof damaged, mm -hmm. okay, and so the insurance company only owes to repair what's Mm -hmm. damaged mm -hmm. got it so if you have two sides of your roof this side's damaged this side's fine mm -hmm. 
So we replace these shingles and they're not going to match these. Right. So you can buy a coverage that'll match so they can actually oh, nice. replace the whole roof. I see. Without you having to pay half. Got it. So we're dealing with the roof thing. That's good to know. I was going to say, I, I just learned <laughs> I love, something I just, very valuable. Very valuable. I just had this conversation. I got an estimate Thank today. You, by Did the you? Way. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> today. So we're praying for hail. <laughs> you know, in insurance, that is a four letter word. So. <laughs> in pretty much every language. <laughs> yeah. Hail is a four letter word, in, yeah. especially in insurance. What the oh hail? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, that is fascinating. Um, and then, so do you meet with your clients uh, like annually to update? Well, their it, that would be policies? that would be impossible. Okay. We, you know, we we always offer reviews and, mm -hmm. and we try to do it on a rotating basis. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we send them a lot of information, and if yeah. you ever want to review, we, you know, we encourage them to call. Yeah, sure, sure, that's um, a good idea. You know, in today's market. You know, we're all experiencing, you are too, we're all experiencing huge rate increases. Mm. It's no fun. It's and it's not, there. it's it's like this perfect storm, inflation, mm -hmm. uh, cost of labor, material shortages, mm -hmm. you know, used car prices way high. All of these mm -hmm. things combined are, are causing inflated, uh, inflating rates. And we're all experiencing them. It's not just one or two or four companies. They're all, we're all doing it. So we're right. all going through it. So a lot more reviews. How can mm -hmm. we? And I hate delivering the bad news. Yeah. I, it, you know, it's, I don't set the rates. You know what? No, I'm but don't. my yeah. rates are going up too. Yeah. It yeah. stinks. I, yeah. It's no fun. Yes. Um, and I, it's just news. I'm going to tell you, I don't think there's such a thing as bad news. You have to decide if it's bad. Yeah, you got to assign in a meeting. The rates are going up. you got no control over that. You're right. delivering news. They get to decide whether it's good or bad. Neutral news. Well, that's okay. wonderful, Brian. Thank you for increasing yeah. my rate. Tell me some bad news in a yeah. cheerful way. Yes. I, mean, yeah. I just came into some extra money that I didn't even know about. You can have it. <laughs> so what are some of the common mistakes that people make when they're looking for somebody to do their insurance? I, I think that's hard to say there. Most of the folks we run across, um, have been pretty well taken care okay. of. Um, there are times where I'll, I'll review a policy and well, do, you know, you don't have the rental car. Well, what mm -hmm. does that mean? We mm -hmm. just to tell you if your car's in the shop, mm -hmm. they, they're not going to pay for a rental car. Yeah. Oh, I want that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So we put so that digging on. a little bit deeper. Yeah. And you can, you know, we can look at, see that, um, mm -hmm. Everybody uh, wants to pay the least <laughs> to have the most. Correct. That's yeah. that's called Everybody wants America. the all new everything policy 100%. for the lowest price. You so, know, and I, insurance is weird, I'll tell you, because in the preferred market, um, the best policies cost the least. Oh wow. It's not pay more to get more. Okay. It's it's different. Wait a minute. How do you get those? The done? reason for that is because those that are in that preferred market are least likely to have a claim. Okay. So we'll offer you the better coverages yeah. at a lower price because you're less likely to mm -hmm. have a claim. Got it. So how do you get into mm -hmm. that preferred range? Well. Track record? Yeah. Yeah. No, the average homeowner has a claim once every 12 years. Okay. Um, auto, once every 10. So if you're in that, you know, you take good care of your house. Mm -hmm. You don't let the roof deteriorate to the point mm -hmm. to where, uh, you know, a s small breeze is going to knock those shingles mm -hmm. off. Right. Things like that. Yeah. Most of it's maintenance, taking care of, right. you know, replace your tires on your car when mm -hmm. you need to. Right. Stuff everybody, like that. Well, I shouldn't say everybody, but lots of people wait until it's way late. They do it yeah. with their health. We see it every yeah. day. Sure. That no, you know, some people don't manage their health until their body's already in a crisis. Mm -hmm. Some right. people don't replace their oil until their lights are on or whatever. Yeah. Right. So there's always going to be those people. Yeah. Um, how long? And so year five is when the bells and whistles started going off. At what point did you say, I want my own agency? Well, I had, um, uh, at that point I was technically on my own. Okay. I turn this off. I mm -hmm. apologize. Oh, no problem. Um, I left, I was a captive agent at that point. I left that company, um, seven years in. Okay. Um, a friend of mine who was also, uh, same company, with me said, you ought, to, you ought to think about going independent. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I did. And it's like starting over again. Yeah, I, I don't recommend that. Because right. you, you're you not allowed you to bring your customers. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of phone call, a lot of mm -hmm. tough times. But that didn't take five years to build back. <laughs> it oh, it was a little good. quicker. So yeah. you didn't, well, the you first already, five years. You had a yeah. game. You had, right. Yeah. 
and I knew kind of what I was doing. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So, and so your own yeah. agency now for how long? Well, a while since '97. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. So that, like I said, part of what I like about this is that you, you are, you've done the garbage jobs that led to being more <laughs> successful and then owning your own agency. And I like my state rep having gone through that track record. I like sending the guy who knows their work to, to the government. Mm -hmm. And so now if we want to move into talking mm -hmm. government stuff, Yeah, let's can. do it. But and, unless there's more insurance stuff, because I want this, I want, yeah. I want your customers to be able to flip onto this episode and say, dude, that's my dude. Right. Or I want people who are looking for what products you have to offer mm -hmm. to say, I like that guy's style. What's mm -hmm. his number? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. from an insurance standpoint, and nobody wants to, everybody just sees it as kind of a thing. But when mm -hmm. you need it, it's so impressive oh, yeah. and so important. Yes. Um, when we talk finances, one of the things that manages or that affects people's health mm -hmm. is finances. Right. Um, in fact, I think finances are the leading oh, yeah. cause for bankruptcy or for divorce and. Um, I bet. Self harm. Yes. The stress. And sure. so, but everybody wants to pay less for their insurance or be underinsured. And I think insurance is a super smart investment in your security for the future. Yeah. Uh, so you're doing home and auto. Do you do mm -hmm. life insurance? Yes. Life Tell health, about little, fully licensed. Let's yeah. talk about the difference between whole life and, <laughs> and term life. Yeah, yeah and, let's do it. So it's a real simple. Uh -huh. And there's a simple analogy we tell everybody. Term life is like renting an apartment. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. You rent, you put that money into the roof of your head and use of the space. Mm -hmm. When you leave... You may get one month's rent back, mm -hmm. but you've rented. You've mm -hmm. rent the coverage. Yeah. Now, term life usually is over a period of time, 20, 30 years. The premium doesn't go up. The coverage doesn't go down, so mm -hmm. it stays level. Um, but at the end of that time, if you decide to keep renting, then the rent mm -hmm. goes up every year. Got it. it. There's no cash value. There's mm -hmm. no permanency to it after a certain period of time. Mm -hmm. The premiums are going to be so high mm -hmm. if you live long enough right. Right. that you're not going to be able to afford it yeah. typically whole life is like buying a house owning a home okay it is more expensive but you're building equity yes so so literally in the beginning they're overcharging you yeah so that that cash value can begin to build mm -hmm. that the premiums again the premiums never go up the covers never go never goes down and it's permanent it's forever mm -hmm. got it so at some point there's enough cash value that you can literally stop paying the premiums mm-hmm and the policy will pay for itself. Mm -hmm. Now that's quite a ways down the road, right. yeah. uh, especially with low interest rates now. But, right. but yeah, so so it really is the difference. It's very much like renting, which is term, mm -hmm. or okay. owning, which would be a, a whole life. Got it. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm the 25 year old guy who just got done repo and cars and I'm not making tons of money, right. but I do want some coverage because I might have a family already. Right. Term life makes term life. sense. It does. Because you can get a lot more coverage mm -hmm. for the same dollar or right. less, yes. But now I'm 40 and I'm more established. My kids are growing and my house is now my house instead of my apartment. And uh, and so now I got to look down the road. Right. 20 years, 30 years. I got college. Maybe I'm going to pay for. I got other reasons to start having a house instead of an apartment. Correct. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I just wanted you guys to know. <laughs> I already knew. I just wanted to hear I knew it. you knew that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was really good, babe. That good was, job. Yeah, yeah that was, I just wanted to that, was, that in there. That was really awesome. So speaking of like, did you say you were like married then? I want to know about your wife. Where oh. How did you meet her? Well, it, it's uh, she tells the story much better than I do. Just, okay, sorry, Karen. Just to let it be known. Yeah. But... Um, I so I, I'm with you. I'm, would I'm divorced, but in any, in any case, well, she's working. She works late uh, in the, during the week. Got it. Um, we met each other. We knew each other. We worked at Wendy's. Did together when really? we were teenagers. Oh my yeah. gosh. Uh, she That's she actually cool. went to West Carrollton. Mm -hmm. And so we got to know each other. And I thought, I even told her this. She goes, That's not what happened. Oh. <laughs> I thought she lost a bet and had to go out with me. <laughs> oh, oh, that's horrible. <laughs> What okay, but she is. They're gonna date Brian. Yeah, yeah. She's a beautiful, beautiful lady, and I thought, well, why on earth would you? So we ended up going to homecoming, a homecoming dance together, and that's um, 
I don't remember the date except for the mm-hmm. beginning of it. The, mm-hmm. It didn't start off well. Uh-oh. Father yelled at me. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah. Oh, I had an old Vega, and I parked it in his brand-new concrete driveway, and he didn't want it leaking oil. On uh, it. I get it now. Yeah. But when you're a kid, it, I, right. I don't think of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So he's yeah. like, get I'm, that thing I'm out really of my sorry, driveway. sir. I yeah. Didn't make a puddle I, in your driveway right. with my Vega. I got in the car and I was seriously com- contemplating Getting just out. Yeah, leaving, leaving. leaving. But I didn't. No. That would have been yeah. devastating. That was an so, aluminum block, wasn't it? Yeah. That car had horrible an aluminum block. car. We had one and it leaked oh, all yeah. over the place. So, yeah, so we was, knew that that was a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, horrible car. Blew a head gasket on the way to school one day. Uh, smoke but pouring not on out of the date. back. No, not on the but date. Thankfully. Thank goodness. Yes. Right. So tell us about homecoming. Uh, I can't remember it. Neither yeah. can she. We neither one of us That's remember back the, in the day. days where you just drank yourself blind at homecoming. That Nobody is not cared. true. That is not true. There was no drinking. There was school property. I didn't. Way. I didn't drink then. So <laughs> no, uh, I didn't have an older Nobody brother did. to buy beer for me. Oh, so I, right. I couldn't. Yeah. But uh, I, I honestly, I don't. Neither one of us can remember the date itself or what happened. Why we didn't mm-hmm. continue to go out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I honestly, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Um, so we went our separate ways, and for mm-hmm. 35 years, it was the, you know, I have I have, a, I have a picture of her. She had a picture of me, and that was, look at it once in a while, and going, eh, I wonder how she's doing. Yeah. Oh, that's a great Well, story. she came to a gig. Okay. We were, our band was playing out, and she came to a gig, and kind of got reacquainted. Playing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Was she yeah, following was cool. you on Facebook? This is premeditated. I guess. I don't know. Premeditated. Yeah, yeah. she, she had to have been, because yeah. it was yeah. a Facebook post that yeah. you saw that we okay. were at a gig. So she was stalking you. I'd like to think so, <laughs> but... <laughs> That's so funny. Sure. So then you guys started chatting again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you play That's any cool. special songs for her while she was there in the audience? Well, no, but we do have one now. Oh, you uh, do? The Monkees, um, Then I Saw Her Face. Oh. I'm, I'm a believer. believer. Yeah. I'm a believer. Yeah. 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 Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. so cute. Yep. That's super cute. That's our I love song. it. <laughs> I love those kind of romantic stories. <laughs> okay. I know you so, do. So does she love that you, are you able to be home most of the time, even with your uh, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, it it's it's all day stuff. Okay. Really. Now there's some evening things that we both go to uh, oh, when right. she can. Yeah. Uh, mostly weekends, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, no, it's most of my stuff's day. How did day. you decide you wanted to like stay an insurance man, mm-hmm. marry the woman of your dreams, mm-hmm. and move into the legislature? How did you? What's the <laughs> yeah, thought process leap, for a guy it? who's like, right? I, you know, did you do any any um, uh, local st- politics stuff before right. you went to the no. state? No, I, I mean, uh, with the chamber and the rotary, of course, you know, you meet everybody right. and, and you get to know our local um, political folks. And I just had a high interest in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, then uh, it'll be state senator uh, Steve Austria yep. said, hey, you ought to think oh. about running for state mm-hmm. or state rep. Mm-hmm. And that at that point, it was it was Kevin DeWine, Rep DeWine, mm-hmm. yep. not Mike, but Kevin, mm-hmm. right. um, who was term limited. And he, Steve at that time was also, he was running for Congress, mm-hmm. if you recall. Right. So I thought, oh, me, state rep? I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I did. And there were five of us in that primary. I lost. I came in second. I tell everybody, but I used, you know, second, third, second and fourth, you still, still yeah. lose. Right. Yeah. Right. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> but for your, first, <laughs> for your first go around, you were second out of five. Yeah. yeah. Which wasn't bad for a, my a nobody. Jared Martin. He was a Beaver Creek council. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wrestler. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Yep. Big yep. time wrestler? Actually, we no, did. A high school. No, no. Oh, high school uh, wrestler. Real, <laughs> real wrestling. We did yeah. a fundraiser for him in the office when, after he had won for his something second wise. Hmm. He, we had a, we had like a state rep day oh, right, here right, in the right. office. I mm-hmm. remember that. That was super fun. Balloons and cake. Yeah. And, the, you know, then he got to come and talk. He was already elected, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, but yeah, we had some of his people come in and do the thing here in the office. Mm-hmm. So I, I I thought, well, I'm never doing that again. Mm-hmm. Um, never say it's never. It's a lot of work, right? To- it it is, and the the campaign was a bit m- um, mean. Um, you don't say pieces, yeah. Political things going sideways, right. uh, emotion. Yeah. I can't imagine. <laughs> when do you start planning for like running for an election? I, is it a year? I well, it depends. It depends on the office. It depends on the situation too. You know, if you know a bunch of people are running, yeah, you got to get out early. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, to, if it's just you or, or you and another person, mm-hmm. depending on who it is, you know, it, it just depends. Yeah. Uh, you know. Um, but uh, this this past time, uh, uh, um, Commissioner um, Tom Kugler, yep. he said, hey, the seat's coming open. You ought to think about it. Mm-hmm. 
And I said, well, I'll think about it. I don't think I'm going to do it, but I'll think about it. And I'm certainly not going to do it if a bunch of other people get in. I yeah. did that once. I'm not yeah. doing that again. Yeah. yeah. Stressful. And normally in an open seat around here, as you know, a lot of people run. Mm -hmm. Well, there was no one. No. I was the only one expressing interest. Weird. Okay. So I heard, well, so-and-so is going to. So I'd call him. Huh. You know, I know everybody. And, and I'd call him. And he's, well, no, I'm not going to. Okay. All right. And kept so you going were and kept proactive going. proactive about Heck like, if yeah, you I wanted to find out. You want, sure, yeah, you want sure. to hear it from them, not say so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you know, I don't take, you talk, call the source. Yes. Just yes, call yes. the source. So smart. Yeah. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. And went along, got petition signed. And then late in the race, somebody jumped in. I had a primary opponent. Um, we did fine. We, yeah. We, yeah. we obviously got through that. And, mm -hmm. um, looking at my running, my second term running for the third. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. amazing. And how many years? Two years? They're two-year terms. Okay, yeah. two-year terms. And we're okay. limited to four of those. Okay. How okay. long does it take? I got my seat. I won the thing. I'm going to bed <laughs> that night knowing I'm the new guy. How long does it take before you settle into the process, mm. figure out how the game's kind of played? Because mm. that's... A yeah. two-year term, I'm sure, goes by super quick yeah. before yeah. you know Especially the ropes. Learning. I will tell you, I, will, I it can take two years. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe it's that. Seriously, your first whole term, you're, yeah. you're trying to figure out where the hell the bathrooms are. Right. Mm -hmm. I was extremely fortunate that I, in, I was able to get an aide who was the previous aide for the same seat oh, wow. who's from Greene County. Okay. So not only did he know his stuff. Yeah. Right. He is from the area. Knew the game yeah, and the area. Exactly. Got I was, I lucked out big time. Wow. Now, is he an employee or is he an assigned? Yes, they're okay. employees. Got it. Um, and typically as a freshman, a newbie coming in, right. you don't get first, second, or third choice. Okay. Yeah, you just get what's handed to you. Exactly. So the yeah. But this worked out. kind of aligning for yeah. you. No well, they did on that one, I'll tell you. No mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So yeah, an, a really good aid, especially your first year, can make a huge difference. Okay, and it did for me. That's awesome. Yeah. So in that first term, did you have some goals in mind for no. the community? Okay, no, you're just, just getting, you're just yep. figuring it out. Yep, we ran. I ran ten bills. And I got eight of them signed into law, which is pretty good. Mm. Okay, and my and the big the one that I'm most proud of is the distracted driving. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's mm -hmm. awesome. That was oh, yes. that you. was tough. Yep. Yeah, and that, that distracting is. By, by definition, distracted driving is what? You can't be yeah. looking at your phone or texting while driving. Got it. Or yeah. doing your makeup either, right? Or eating a bagel no, with cream no, cheese. That, or, is it that didn't totally address fine? It. Yeah. It, it, it just <laughs> addressed it just as... a handheld electronic. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Super so, yeah, you yeah. can still read the, ba read the paper. I've seen people do <laughs> Do your makeup. Got a book. Read a book. Oh, yeah. That's, that's not illegal per okay. se. Okay. It's just not. Very it's not very smart. smart. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, especially it is, when you're traveling 60, illegal. 70 miles an hour <laughs> right. on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> so if it, if a police officer actually sees you with the phone, he can pull you over right then. Yes, mm -hmm. it is a primary offense. Oh, I love that. That's, yeah. That, I mean, we see that all the it's time. Good to know too. Oh, oh yeah. Are you driving yeah. next to somebody and you yeah. see them, exactly. their heads down? Or, I know. Yeah. And they're weaving in and out. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, they. They dangerous. Be, it's super dangerous. Yeah. So you've been involved in the community all along. So, mm -hmm. And part of that was because of your business, correct? Yeah. I, you know, you, you, you get involved. I met some great people with Rotary mm -hmm. in the, in the chamber, and then you meet some other people and say, Hey, you know, look at joining this club and okay, that sounds fun. And uh, I've done a few, um, you know, partial committees and we, I was on the committee at the in Beaver Creek for their 9/11 memorial, mm -hmm. which was really neat. That was a lot of fun. That was uh, that was fun work. I I was on a charter review committee in in Beaver Creek. So you, it, that kind of thing is is just community involvement. I, to me, you're 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 in a community based business. You give back. Amen. Um, mm -hmm. But it does it it serves both ways. I mean, of course. you know, you get to meet people. People get to meet you. Mm -hmm. Maybe at some point they'll buy an insurance from mm -hmm. me. Right. Maybe they won't. And, That's okay. And yeah. whether they do or whether they don't, as their state rep, your contact with them is valuable to bring True. it back to the government. Exactly. Well, you know what? That's the right. people in my district say this. Right. Because mm -hmm. part of it is what you want. Like, I think mm -hmm. this is a really smart thing, regardless of what they think. Sometimes we have inside baseball information. Right. Um, that the public doesn't have. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and that comes out of the uh, the uh, committee process. And okay. 
stuff like yeah. that. So you can look down the road differently. You got a different lens to look through mm -hmm. because of the exposure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How'd you get to be the voice of the Beavers, though? Oh wow! Well, I I really wanted to announce football. Yes. Um, and I he did is, it uh, to, to yeah. clarify that he yeah. is the announcer voice that you will hear in the loudspeakers for both Beaver Creek football, high school and basketball. Basketball. High school. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, I'd announced peewee football. My son and daughter were playing and it was just so much fun <laughs> and it, it, it's a blast. And I, I, I thought, sure. oh, heck yeah, I want to do this at the high school level. <laughs> and I didn't know anybody over there. Yeah. Um, so I heard so my office manager came in one day and said, Hey, I hear's the, I, Dr. Coy is retiring. I was like, mm. ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Now's my time to shine. <laughs> I, I, wanna, I want this job. I didn't even care if it paid or not. I didn't, uh -huh. it didn't That's matter. Awesome. Does it? A, a little. <laughs> okay. It. But, but it was, um, so I didn't know anybody. Um, but I had a, so the coach, the peewee coach for my daughter's, she cheered mm -hmm. his team. Um, he know he knows him. He knows everybody. Right. You know him, Doctor Black. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and he says, "I says, hey, can I use you as a reference? Mm -hmm. That's all I asked." He goes, right. "For what?" And I go, "Well, I want to announce football." He goes, "Well, hell, I'll do one better. I'll, I'm going to call him and tell him to give you the job." I was like, <laughs> "Okay, I'm not going to turn that down." No, right. <laughs> uh, so eventually, I got to meet the athletic directors at Zinc at the yep, time. Yep. And uh, we had a nice chat, and, and I left thinking, I don't know if I got the gig or not. Yeah. Okay. And nothing happened. I didn't hear from him, nothing. I called him a week later, and I said, so what, what's, you know, what's the verdict? Are you interviewing anybody else? He goes, <laughs> huh? He goes, dude, you're in. You got oh, so you didn't need a follow-up call? No, you apparently not. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know. I was like, awesome. All right, so send me the schedule. Work? How much prep? It's Friday night, game night, lights are coming on. What do you got to know ahead None, of time? Nothing. They're, they're, they're um, numbers and their names? Yeah, we get the yeah. roster. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't memorize them. You can't, yeah. I mean, it's you can't. There's, right. you know, 60 kids or right. whatever. Um, we get, we read some commercials. Okay. Um, but mm -hmm. I usually don't get those until the yeah. day. So I come to the game about an hour and a half early. Okay. Yeah. And I just sit down and kind of look at everything and go, yeah. okay, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah. And and usually stuff comes at you during the game, mm -hmm. right? Hey, do we announce this sponsor or yeah. right. do we're doing a ticket drawing or whatever? Yeah. And okay, so you just go yeah, just with go it. with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's like blast. announcing a parade. I mean, this is uh, this it is, is so fun. because you. I remember I substituted. I think for you is or no, right? it was Rob. Okay. You and I sat there, and that you get a book, right? And that everything, nothing was in order. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Zero. Like, the first guy was correct. It was Ron at a gutter. Yes, the yeah. guy with all the flags. Yep, every year. And, and but everything else after that was like, well, that's oh, he's now he's after that. Yep. So you have to you have to watch. You just wing it and have yep, fun. You do, and it was, it was and a it's blast. fun. Rob and I are usually on. Uh, we're on different sides of the political spectrum. So <laughs> I announce mm -hmm. his side, and he announces my side. It's Does awesome. He, it's great. It's really yeah, really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is. He's got a good announcer voice, too. He oh, does he a good does. job. 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, we just yuck it up and have a good time. So you're doing sure. indoors basketball, outdoors football. Yeah. Yeah. The basketball, that came again. It was um, the, the guy that was doing it um, retired, and it was it was girls varsity. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I can do I can do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so the, if, if you do junior var or uh, what is it? Um, shoot, eighth grade really? and then okay. junior varsity and varsity. Those games start at 4 o'clock. Oh, I'm wow. still at the office. Yeah. I can't. Right. But I can do varsity. Those games used to start at 7, mm -hmm. 7.30. Um, and I didn't know much about basketball. I never played the sport. I don't. Okay. I went and sat through a couple okay. of games and watched. Um, actually, it was my high school teacher, Bob Carl. He did some of the girls' games. And I, I watched him do it. And the guy took copious notes. He recorded every shot. He he read statistics wow. at the end of the. I was it was impressive. I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that was good for you, dude. <laughs> yeah, but but it, even the yeah. language though, right? So you listened yeah. to some of the games so that you actually knew what everything was called. And and watching the refs, their signals, oh, yeah. right? Um, you, you you announce so and so got a foul and you got to look down get your number right. get back up yeah and then so and so's at the line to do free throw and mm -hmm. you're gonna announce basketball is much harder I think mm -hmm. okay is it um, it's faster yes yeah. everything moves much much quicker um, and 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 you're on yeah, display the, when you're on football well, for football right. you're up in the I'm box. way up hiding in yeah. the box nobody yeah. can see exactly. where the voice is exactly. coming from pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah. basketball you are on stage <laughs> you are you're right in front on the in the 
Him Brett and Yoko yeah. won the mic. So yeah. Our grandsons play lacrosse now, and for the in older, Beaver Creek. yeah, mm-hmm. for the older team, they do have somebody that announces those mm-hmm. games. It's awesome. It's so nice. It yeah. makes it so much more music and does between yeah, cool. the music yeah. and stuff Good. that makes it super fun. Yeah, and, and it's it is. Uh, they, they asked me to do a soccer game. I'm like, mm. yeah, yeah, I don't, no. I don't know soccer. Mm-hmm. I don't know it. Yeah. Right. I just, I don't know the sport. I've actually announced track. I love track. Yeah, track and field. Did it? Did yeah. it? I've done a few of those. In awesome. Beaver Creek mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. You think yeah. you'll take that voice outside of the Beaver Creek community? Well, you know, if Ohio State calls and needs a <laughs> substitute announcer for a football game, I am there. And I'll be your Did assistant. you hear that? I am, I'll be the oh, guy I am there. Listen to you don't have to voice, pay me nothing. Everybody. I am there. <laughs> that would be super Oh, I'd fun. love to scream for the Buckeyes. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so taking it back to the State House. Because now mm-hmm. you're the voice of the Beavers, and you're going to be playing rock and roll in the State House. Mm-hmm. So give me like the like here's the here's my favorite thing about mm-hmm. representing Green County. Yeah, you know there's there's a good there's a few occasions where you get to help somebody with something, okay. um, whether it's a, a work comp claim or a. Um, uh, uh, what's the other one? Unemployment. Yeah. You know how we had problems with unemployment through COVID okay. and a lot of money got stolen and people were, uh, it, they were not filing for unemployment yet. Mm-hmm. Somebody filed it fraudulently in their name. We yes. used to get these. We, I still, I got the two. In I had two right from now. my employees. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Completely and, fraudulent. And so you, yeah, you, and you, so you can help people through mm-hmm. that, get them in contact with the right people. Mm-hmm. And that's usually all it is. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and that's been, and that's been rewarding. Um, I I currently sit as chair of insurance, and and I I feel like I'm I'm there to protect the the policyholders of Ohio and and the and the business itself, mm-hmm. you know, to to keep it uh, competitive yes. and vibrant um, because you know we're it. There's no federal regulation over insurance; it's state wow. state regulated. All right. mm-hmm. That's interesting. So hot yeah. button stuff. If if you're and we're gonna we're gonna wind down in the not too distant future, but. Is there a hot button thing that you want to clarify for Green County residents? Like, you know, we get a lot of pushback on X, Y, Z because people think it's this. It's actually that. Well, I can tell you the thing I hear most about are property taxes. Um, okay. You know, we all just got our reevaluations mm-hmm. on our homes and right. the values went up, which is great. Mm-hmm. But then so do your mm-hmm. property taxes. Sure. And, you know, in a community such as Beaver Creek and, and Bellbrook, um, they're their reliance on local property taxes is is heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, when you compare that with the state money that comes in, it's almost it's almost eighty uh, percent mm-hmm. that is relied on, and that's tough. And I, and I get it. I mean, it's it's you know some folks are paying ten twelve thousand dollars a year in yeah. property tax. Why? I think they spilled um, tea in the harbor for a two percent increase <laughs> in the tax on tea. <laughs> oh, really? Two percent. Two percent. Yeah, I think that's that. right. Oh, I don't good, know. Good thing we don't. But yeah, know. we're talking eighty percent reliance on just property tax, mm-hmm. right? And and so it, that's I think really locally that's the number one thing. And there's a lot of we just got done. The House and Senate just had a big long property tax study. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of good things are going to come out of it. Okay. okay. Um, several bills have, have been are being floated around to try to help seniors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With with that. Yeah. Um, I just co-sponsored a bill that. I don't know if you know what a Blue Star family is. This is a military, who right? The active military, active military line in a di- died in a line of duty. Right. So the the they're a Blue Star family yep. or Gold Star, Gold. and um, if they own a home, mm-hmm. it'll it'll eliminate their property tax. Oh wow! As long as they own that home in Ohio, that gives right. me goosebumps. That and, is I, and that's so such nice. the right thing to do. Amen. Yeah. So much. Um, I don't know that it's passed yet, but yeah. I think mm-hmm. it will. That's I think amazing. we'll be able to get that through. What else you want people to know about Greene County and legislation and and uh, like I said, we'll put a big mm-hmm. red bow on anything <laughs> that you want to clarify. <laughs> no, I think we think we're covered it all. Okay. Yeah. It's not an easy game. Like I said, and I don't know if you remember this, but you and I talked about this. When you were getting ready to run, you and I were at the St. Patrick's Day Mm -hmm. thing downtown. It was snowing, actually. (laughs) Oh, that's right. It was super cold. And you were we were talking. You said, you know, I think I'm gonna run for this seat. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, why in the world would anybody want to run for this you, seat? You may have said that out loud, actually. Yeah. I think yeah. <laughs> just it's like, head. kind of like, it's are you nuts? Well, <laughs> well, Kevin DeWine did the same thing. Kevin yeah. came to me out and put a sign in my yard, and mm-hmm. he's like, I'm thinking about doing this. And I'm mm-hmm. like, are you high? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. It's, but you know what? It takes people who are willing to make the sacrifice 
You mm-hmm. give up a lot of your time yep. personally. It, I'm sure it impacts your business. Mm-hmm. Um, but it takes people who are willing to make the sacrifice to, to right. do the things that mm-hmm. need to be done. And yeah. it may, I'm sure it's not always fun. And I'm Correct. sure it's not always smooth. Correct. But at the end of the day, I like knowing that my rep and my guy from my county is a business owner. He knows mm-hmm. what the score is. He's a community-minded person. Mm-hmm. He's not somebody who lives miles away and doesn't be in touch with the people that right. he serves. Right. This exactly. I like. And yeah. that was part of why I wanted to invite you here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I would... Um, I, I always... I looked at this from a... Okay, well, somebody's going to ask you what's in it for you. Why, you mm-hmm. know... And my big thing is I wanted to learn. Okay. Mm-hmm. I wanted to learn how things worked, how it was, how it's done. Yeah. I've learned a lot. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine. The when good, bad, and the, the book, ugly. We, the book will be out when? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a writer. I'm well, just, that's okay. You just don't have a drummer. to write it anymore. You just speak it in somebody else. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about true. that later, okay. actually, because you should be writing a book. So when um, Brian said that about taking bills, 10 of them, and turning them into law, did you want to sing that song from... Isn't Which there, one? This and oh, the old cartoon? Yes, the cartoon oh, where yeah. it's like... Oh, I'm they're... just a bill yes. on Capitol <laughs> Hill. I, oh, I love that cartoon. I'm just yeah. a bill on Capitol Hill. Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Schoolhouse, Schoolhouse Rock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, if you know the whole song, you could sing no, it. No, I don't know that. No, we'll okay. plug it in, though. We'll find it. It'll be uh, it'll be on the show. Put it in there. That's a good idea. But that's what it made me think. You know, it's like, yeah, bills into law. That's what you do. Yeah. And I also tell everybody, everything moves very fast. It does? And very slow. Yeah. At the same time, okay, you know, you you could be hearing a bill, getting it out of passing it out of committee one week, and then a week later, it's on the floor of the house. Yeah. Wow. Well, we have to pass it to or, find out what's in it. <laughs> that's just the budget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah. brain hemorrhages every time I hear that. Yeah, that's, I, I, that yeah. is painful to hear. I just feel a little dumber every time I hear it. <laughs> well, yeah. anyway, yeah, I'm thankful that we got a person who's in touch with real people. Yeah. That, well, that matters and to me. is there anything you. that you would like to share, like any last minute thoughts about, you know, a special, a way that we can connect to you, make sure that you're moving forward in your plans and the grand design in what you want to do for I, the I can't community? think of anything. I remember when Rep. DeWine, Kevin, was given a presentation and he, he said, you know, one of the things I want you to do is keep me busy. Mm-hmm. Call my office. Mm-hmm. If something's on your mind, give us a call, send us an email. And, and, and we were talking about it earlier today. Um, too few people do that. Yeah. We don't really hear much from. Is that right? So you and I will see each other. And if you've mm-hmm. got something on your mind, you'll say something. And to me, that's where I get the local information is yeah. when I'm out at the, at the chamber event or a rotary yeah. is, is yeah. hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Well, here I am. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Um, and Which is a great reason for you to be out yep, and about. Ag- agree. It's also a great reason to hide. <laughs> it's a great reason to there, not be out, there, out. There is that, depending on where I, you're yeah. at and who you're with. But, but I think so, it's part of the job is, is to be out there. Hundred yeah. percent true. But yeah. basically, what you're saying is, call me, put me yeah, to work. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want us yeah. to put your state rep number, your Columbus number, in the show notes or on the? I don't care. Yeah. Sure. I don't know what it is, but go ahead. <laughs> He's going to give us a fix. I don't have to call number. myself, so I yeah. yeah. I don't know what the number is. Yeah. No, that's yeah. that's totally fine. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Sure. But uh, yeah, well, no, thank you for fun. taking some yes, time. Absolutely. Um, yeah, should we have him close it out too? If you like what you hear, subscribe, share, and like. Yes. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, and we're only okay. six people away from giving away that beautiful basket. I can't wait I know. for that sixth person because <laughs> when that basket leaves my desk, I'm having a party. <laughs> nice. So we're trying to grow the podcast audience okay. on YouTube. And so, yeah, that's the, the local treats and treasures that basket that we have. That's a very so good. So it's just it's encouraging people to uh, oh, okay. subscribe. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's all different businesses nice. that we have packed in. Oh, there. very yeah. good. Yeah, it's yeah. super fun.